In this lecture, we will learn about the state design pattern and how to implement it in Python. State is a behavioral design pattern that lets an object alter its behavior when its internal state changes. We use the state design pattern when we have an object that behaves differently depending on its current state, the number of states is enormous, and the state-specific code changes frequently. You can also use state when you have a class polluted with massive conditionals that alter how the class behaves according to the current values of the class's fields. This design pattern is useful if you have a lot of duplicate code across similar states and transitions of a condition-based state machine. Let's look at the pros and cons of using the state design pattern. The advantages of using this pattern are that we can organize the code related to particular states into separate classes. We can introduce new states without changing existing state classes or the context and it simplifies the code of the context by eliminating bulky state machine conditionals. The drawback of using this design pattern is that it can be overkill if a state machine only has a few states or rarely changes. Let's learn how to implement the state design pattern in Python. We will create a class named context. Inside of this class, we will create a variable named state and initialize it to a value of none. Then we will define the init function, which will take in two parameters, self and state. Inside of init, we will set self.state equal to state. Then we will create a request function that will take in the self parameter. Inside of this function, we will call self.state.handle and pass in self. Next, we will create a class named state, inside of which we will have a handle function that takes in two parameters, self and context. We will use the pass keyword, since the concrete state classes that extend this state will implement the details of this function. Then we will create a class named concrete state one that extends the state class. Inside of this class, we will define a function named handle that takes in two parameters, self and context. Inside of this function, we will print the statement handle, called from concrete state one to the console, and then set context.state equal to concrete state two. After that, we will create a class named concrete state two that extends the state class. It will implement the handle function and take in two parameters, self and context. Inside of this function, we will print handle called from concrete state two. Then we will set context.state equal to concrete state one. Time to test our code. We will create a variable named client and set it equal to context with concrete state one passed in. Then we will call client.request three times. When we run the code, you will notice that the state was changed from one to two and then back to one. That is the benefit of using the state design pattern, the ability to toggle between states. This pattern is particularly useful in game development for programming enemy AI behaviors. In the next lecture, we will learn about the strategy design pattern and how to implement it in Python.